Hey everybody, this is Cyber Tiger, and today we are going to be playing Layers of Fear. This will be part two, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we are leaving, or we are leaving, we are, I don't remember that Apple moving. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. We are starting right where we left off. Remember we, we had this piece of skin that we found. This is like some flamingos and shit. Everything else is gone. Anyway, we don't have anything to do except for go out here. I'm pretty sure we read this. I'm almost positive. Let's just check. Yep, we read this. Definitely read this. All right, here we go. All right. I think this is how it started last time, right? Like it started in. Oh, that's weird. Oh shit! An elevator. Nothing's fucking scarier than an elevator. Do I have to shut it? Yeah, of course I do. Damn! I like the way this elevator looks. Um, emergency stop run. Um, let's go this way. Okay, I kind of tried the other way at first. It didn't work. But that's fine. Who cares? I gotta say, man. This game is really well put together. Like... I'm I'm fired up to play this thing. I mean that didn't look cool. That doesn't look cool either. That's fine. We're gonna get through this. I can't open it. I can't open it early. Let's go through. Let's go through the portions of our mind. Sort this psychosis out. Why does it not open all the way? Yeah, open. No, no, open. Oh, oh, oh. There it goes. That was weird. Okay. This kind of looks like the whole... That's locked. That we went in before. I mean, I'm assuming they're... You know, they reused some of them. Okay, great. Everything's locked. Anything? No. Of course not. Okay. Okay, here we go. That... That just... <laughs> <laughs> like I did, I didn't move, but I wanted to. Like I wanted the Jeff right there because I was like, "What is that?" But it's just a painting. Okay. okay I shut it that time. Key. Uh, note. Oh, uh, there we go. Dear sir, well, I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for you and your wife and yourself. But, oh, Jesus, but sympathy for your wife and yourself. I must categorically state, I was like, what is that? That I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne's have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will... Emulate the situation? I don't know. I think that's the first time I've ever had to pronounce that word. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information. <laughs> For several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. That guy took this really well. Like, I mean, I understand that... That's a cool looking painting. I mean, she's just like... It looks like he just slapped her in the face and she fell out and the kids are like... Like, that one's just like, Mom! And he's just like, quiet down, child. Still don't really get that one. Anyway, that doctor took things really well. I mean, he's like, I can help you if you need help. Did the room move? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh shit, here we go. Shut it. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. It sounded like they were so happy at one time. You know how that goes. It's in. It's in there. Nothing. That's kind of cool looking. It's like the fire did it. You can see like how it's kind of messed up. That's kind of cool. All right. Next one. All right. Don't scare me. Okay, don't scare me. There's that fucking elevator. There we go. Nope, it's shut. Okay. What are we doing? What we got going on here? Here's clock. I don't know why I open anything anymore. Most of the stuff isn't anything. Nope. Nothing. I think I'm just going to stop opening things. I said this last time, but I really think I am. No scary stuff. No scary stuff. Nope. Open. Looks really fucking cool, though. Whoever did these pictures, look. I mean, they did a good job. Like, I can, I, I commemorate them. That is some cool looking shit. Um, good boy. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. Totally opposite. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's like, God, man, that's the worst fucking idea. Honey, you know how you said you wanted a cat? Well, I said go fuck yourself on that suggestion, and I bought a dog instead. Am I the best husband ever? Ha 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 ha, yeah. What an idiot. You always listen to your wife, you never just ignore what she said. That is, that is some legit advice right there. Take it to heart, don't. Don't don't just ignore what the women folk say. When they say something, they usually mean it. Am I in the picture? Cause all the writing's backwards. Like, am I in the mirror? Is that what it's trying to say? What's that? Holy shit! I can't go back. Hello? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes, speak. What? what? What fire? fire. Oh, God. oh, God. Is she... Is she... Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. Huh. So I'm starting... I mean, they're starting to give you a lot of the pieces. Like, we're starting to put it together. So that piece that we found, that news clipping of that fire, that convenience store, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm assuming she was in it. Holy fuck, is that a dead body? No, it's not a dead body. I can't go back in. So I'm assuming she was in it. Uh, issues, lost her leg. And she had a bunch of skin issues. Like, you know, burning of the face and burning of the body. And they tried to do graphs, which of course this is probably like... Like I said, I can't nail down the time, but I'm assuming it's like late 1800s, early 1900s. Got to be. It's probably late 1800s. Anyway, um, so skin grafting probably sucked back then. She probably looks like Frankenstein's monster or something at this point. I feel really bad for. Her. And then this guy has lost his damn mind at this point. Be undone. It cannot be undone. Undone. It cannot be undone. Not undone. Okay. Right. Like she's permanently fucked. I bet she lost the kid or something too. I bet the kid died. Door shut. Sweet. 
I hate these. They're like, pick a bunch of different directions. Ah! Um... There it goes. Warning signs. The following list is a comp compila compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, this disorder is known to affect older patients as well, not that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, a psychologist, or a psychiatrist. Blank expression states stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movement, yes. Insomnia, haven't noticed any of that. Unusual gestures or postures, always had that, right? So it's not, it's not a big deal. Unable to express joy from activities, definitely. <laughs> Depersonalization, what does that even mean? Okay. Awkward, clumsy movement might be from the accident. Prone to anger and resentment, more passive-aggressive. Lack of motivation, yes. Suicidal tendencies, question marks and exclamation marks like, who fucking knows, I guess. Yeah, I like how they always put that little cause. Aw, oh, you missed it, you son of a bitch. Almost. Almost. Those things are everywhere. But they always like, like they always put that little cause in there. They're like, just just because you have every single one of these traits does not mean you have schizophrenia. It could be something totally different, which is true. I mean, it really is. I mean, can I zoom in? I remember those. Those are in my painting room. Wait, make up your mind. I can't. I can't go in there. I can't. I can't do anything else. That's all we got, guys. What else we got going on around here? Next room! We've been in here... No, no, we haven't been in here. Something like it, though. I remember that. Anything to grab? Drinking in front of a nice fire. Um, that's weird. Anything, anything. I don't like how some of these rooms are literally... I mean, eye candy's cool. I get that. Eye candy's really cool. But some of these rooms are literally just eye candy. Like, some of them are literally just like, hey, look, we put this room together, and now you're just going to walk through. I mean, there's nothing in here. Jesus Christ, it scared the fuck out of me. Like, I literally... <laughs> oh my god, I was so wrong. I was completely and utterly wrong. God it scared the shit out of me. Good God. Like, the game just made me a liar and scared the shit out of me all at the same time. What is that? I can't get that. Is there anything in here? I was hoping that something cool would happen, like something fell over and I'd be able to... To read something. I don't know. Maybe it's still eye candy. Never mind. I mean, it, it's jump scare eye candy, I guess. I don't know. Ah, there's something. So there was a reason. Key. And that's it. So there was something behind this painting. Okay, great. That's done with. That one just opens. Now this one unlocks. Let's go into this one for a second. So this was the optional room. All right. Um, a chair with a leg missing and the arm broken. Is that it? Are you gonna scare me again? I wonder I can't do anything with it. Okay. Well, maybe that'll mean something later. I don't. I don't know. Okay, we've been in a room like this. That's kind of cool. Okay. All right. All right. That's fucking locked. Um, that is locked. Cool paintings. Man, it is really fucking hot in this room. Like, Jesus. I mean, you guys can't feel, but I am sweating. It's supposed to be fucking one or two.
Was that just me, or did you guys, like, notice this right, right off the bat? Like, I mean, maybe it's supposed to be like this, but it's... They're spinning opposite directions. Are you gonna do something? Okay. That's weird, though. They're spinning opposite direct. I mean, it is, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are opposite directions. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Oh, look. Nothing to read in here, like always. Ah, there's something. Holy shit. Okay. September 12th. She's been at it again. Earlier in the day, I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my latest paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised after all. She knows me well enough to know what really gets to me. I just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is, when I confront her about it, she claimed she hadn't read any of them. Like, I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus. Does she really hate me that much, or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. Maybe she is schizophrenic. Maybe she has a split personality. It wasn't as scary this time, but, um, damn. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, anything? You want this as well? Nope. Not like this. This is some crazy shit. Turn that on. Open that. Good. At once, a once great artist, something new painting laughed out of galleries. Damn. What we witnessed today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than John Hughes, the famed critic who... The cr famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of said person, and whose praise once contributed to f his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded as critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately and obviously has taken his toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient as that, as the something. Damn. I mean, I kind of see it in a way, but it's like, you probably don't have to be so harsh about it. You know, you probably could be like, hey, man. That kind of scared me a little bit, too. Damn, the noises. Like, I tried to back up, and I was like, mm-mm, can't, can't back up. Are you trying to call me a handicapped painter? Is that what you're trying to do? I don't appreciate that. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's kind of, I mean, yeah, if your art sucks, you need to tell them, but you don't have to be a, a cock about it. I don't know. Bam! This one is fucking full of jump scares. Man, I hate it when the doors are kind of like... Kind of like half open like that. Okay. Whatevs. I don't care. Is there a key over here? This is definitely the game... Can I reach that? No. The game is definitely calling for a little more exploration, though. It's just like, hey man, you need to explore a little more. I'm gonna stop wasting time and stop sh... I was like, I'm gonna stop shutting these, but I ain't gonna shut them. Son of a bitch. Fuck, man. <sighs> oh, shit. Is there a light? Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, not too scary. Ha! April 6th. Found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house, that's just irresponsible.
open now. Okay, don't care. I got a key now, so whatever. Quit making your racket outside. Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna pause it because I want to. I want you guys. So I just had a moment of inspiration. I think he has the split personalities or schizophrenia, and it's not her. And he's writing like his wife and leaving notes for himself. All right, that's just my two cents on it right now. At the painting. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Yeah, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he has the issue. Because it sounded like he was making her maybe have the issue. Maybe I was just reading into it wrong, but he definitely has the issue. And um, he was leaving notes on his own paintings. Anything? Okay. They do have some transition rooms, which is fine. I understand. Like sometimes you need rooms to make transitions from one scary thing to the other. That's fine. Keep like it's like. Around a couple turns, maybe. Mm, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, look how cool it looks. Like the whole thing is melting. I should have looked through the room before I did that. It was just kind of obvious to do that. Okay, well, I got things to look through. Hold on. Don't fuck anything up. Hold on, I gotta... Yeah, there we go. Prosthetus structure. Unstable bastard. Why the damn leg? Can't afford a new one. It looks like there's fucking holes in it. Oh, the bed. Yeah. <sighs> So, uh, I guess we should just leave, because, I mean, ooh, what's this? I needed a jar and, and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a... What of a syringe? I didn't cut it off. It just kind of cut itself off there. Do you think... Now, I definitely think he's schizophrenic or uh, has an issue. Do you... think... Are you out of your goddamn mind? What did the doctor just that he say his life straining though. yourself? You can barely hold a comb. Leave that damn thing alone! That's right, yell at them. They love that. That's their favorite. They don't. Don't do that. They hate that. They get really pissed off. Is that it? Okay. Back out this door. This whole place is goddamn destroyed. Okay, let's try this. Let's do that. Let's try this.
Does it bring it all back? This is so cool, it just kind of goes back and forth. It's just like, uh, now I am, now I'm not, now I am. This is so fucking cool, it's like, I was like, ah, kind of bad, uh, kind of good, kind of bad, kind of good, kind of bad. The door's back. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. Done! Sweet! That was really cool, I like how you can make it go back and forth. Ah, oh, look, we're back again. This looks way more complete than last time. That note's gone. Well, it's above the door. For form emerges. Mm, what's this one? I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. The whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. I wish you could see your face. I look like I have some badass mutton chops, though. I can kind of see that, for sure. I could also be Samuel L. Jackson, possibly. Um. Alright. Let's do it. What are you now? A cave? I definitely see where the flamingos were, and they're definitely not there anymore. That could be, like, somebody's face? I don't know. I think that might just be a cave. I don't know. Alright. Um, I'm not gonna read that again. He said that out loud already. Alright, so two pieces out of the six. So I think that's how long it's gonna take to finish this game. We're gonna go ahead and look through this, because this has been proving uh, better. This has been proving uh, to to have more more things. Maybe not every time. Nope, it's proving very fruitless right now. Alright, literally nothing. What's that? Oh, it's the, the leg thing. Oh, interesting. Alright. What is this? Can I move this? No. I got kind of melted. All right, back to this again. Okay, guys. Bam. That is it for this one. All right, so the pot thickens. Um, some of those jump scares got me. Some of those are pretty good. Um, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with he killed his wife and used her body in a painting. Like, used her blood, used her skin, used stuff like that to make this painting. And it's like his masterpiece that he he used out of the one thing that he loved the most in life that he felt like he had lost. And uh, I also think he's got uh, mental issues in the game. I think he's the one who's got schizophrenia or whatever you want to diagnose him with. I don't know. But that's my guess so far as of right now. Officially, that's it. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this. This has been a lot of fun so far. I am liking this a lot. I cannot wait till we finish this and see what what, what happens in total. But um, as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. And that is it. I will see you guys on the next one. So you don't have to go home, but you can't come here.